morning you guys it's Karen and I'm here to talk about a new vegan skincare brand or I don't know whether it's new to the UK or completely brand new but it's a vegan skincare range cruelty free obviously and I was excited about this because there seems to be so many skincare brands coming out um you know all of the the websites like Morphe are bringing out their own skincare and then there's one come out on I think it's Beauty Bay are bringing out another one don't know that it's their own brand they've already got their own brand but there's so many skincare ranges coming out um I might actually do some anti-hauls on them and tell you why I'm not buying them but I find a lot of skincare that comes out has fragrances in um even it be it essential oils which are still irritating or they seem to be uber expensive this is vegan which is in itself brilliant and not full of fragrance and also more affordable so i've only got four items to review today but i always think that's enough to sort of test out the range but there's a lot more more items on the on cult beauty that's where i bought this i think you can buy it directly from verst.com but you i got it from cult beauty so the first thing i used was this cleanser if you see me looking down i've got my notes down here and this is the only thing i've used that has some fragrance in it what's really interesting about it is it doesn't sting my eyes um so it's one of those typical kind of oily balm type things but this is a little bit softer than usual um you know normally they're quite hard and you have to sort of dig your nail in but this is um oily as you can see but then when you use it it turns to you know it goes milky um yeah what's interesting about this is it did not sting my eyes i was a bit apprehensive using it around my eyes because you can smell the fragrance i don't mind fragrance so much in things that I'm going to rinse off my skin is not that sensitive like I can get away with that and I do really like the smell of eucalyptus which I can smell in here I can't smell the cloves just the eucalyptus but yeah that would normally make me think don't put it near your eyes but I took all my eye makeup off and there wasn't even the tiniest bit of stinging and there's other cleansers that say you can use around your eyes um like I think the ordinary squalane one there's other ones that say you know that you can don't worry about your eyes and yet they sting my eyes but this one not even a little bit really really like this now this is a tiny little tub somebody did warn me i said i'd ordered it and they were like the tub is tiny this is how many grams is it 19 grams so it's just a tiny little one but this one was seven pound 50 and you can buy a full size which is 67 grams so more than three times this um for 16 pound 50 love that um so i'm going to continue using this and see what i think and that may well be a repurchase for me next let me tell you about the brightening solution so this is um, a liquid and it's a four acid complex plus bearberry extract this is 16 pound 50 for this bottle which is 120 ml um, it has lactic acid glycolic acid azelaic acid and konjac acid and it also has a bearberry um, a vitamin c derivative and it has niacinamide so i was really attracted to this there's no scent in this at all and you can't smell anything from this you know i will put it onto my cotton and smell it and i cannot smell anything at all it's completely completely scent free um i really like this i really like this i've used you can see i've used it to about there so i've used it about four or five times no irritation on my skin whatsoever it's just a really nice last step before i put before i start my skincare routine so i use my micellar water to take off any kind of cleansing oil residue and then i go over with this and i just it's it's really really nice it's exactly what i wanted so i'm really enjoying this one 16 pound 50 did i tell you that yeah i think i did then there is this which is really interesting by the way apologies for the state of my nails i know that my nails are in a state what i do is a couple of times a year i take the you know cut my nails down really short and take off the builder that i put them when i put on a, a gel builder and usually there's a little bit of damage where you'll see little red marks on my nails which is where i've been overzealous with the, the file so i will just be putting oil on them every few hours for three days and then i'll put some kind of gel polish on just to seal in that oil and then grow them out again so i'm aware how awful they look at the moment yeah this is called the antioxidant oil serum so i thought this was really interesting um it has see buckthorn in it which you know i love so let me tell you the details about this so it's 18 pound for this it has camellia seed oil and sea buckthorn in it um there's a couple of things that they said on the claims about this that i thought no i don't think you could use it like that firstly it says that you can use three drops you do have to shake it up but three drops to me it's it's not oily enough to use it's just three drops so one two three 
I mean, that's, I think, I think you need a little bit more than that, for me anyway. That's, that's fine on my hand, but when I was, when I'm putting it onto my hands it, and then putting it on my face, it's not enough. I suppose if I dropped it straight on my face, it might be a bit different. Um, but you can see it completely goes in and doesn't look greasy or anything like that. Um, but the other thing that I thought no to was they'd said you could use this as a highlighter. It said you can dot bits on your cheekbones and make them be highlighted. But I just, I don't think that this has got any highlight to it. And, and I also don't think this would sit very well on top of makeup. I think that's a bizarre claim. Let me tell you exactly what they say. It says use as a subtle moisturizing highlighter on the high points of your face. It also says you can smooth over dry cuticles to whip them back into shape. Um, top tip for a dewy glow, pat one drop onto the high points of your face, top of cheekbones, brow bone, bridge of nose, after moisturizer or sunscreen. Oh, so I suppose it's saying to put it on before makeup, or maybe it means to use it on no, no makeup days. But like I said, that to me, there is no, there's no highlighting properties to this. So I'm not sh I think that's odd. I just think that's really odd. Um, but it is really, really nice. It's not as oily as I expected. I expected it to feel more oily, but it feels really, really nice. I think it's actually the perfect balance between serum and it almost seems like water and oil, but, um, because it doesn't feel oily. If you really want to give your skin some hydration, but you don't like that oily feel, something like this underneath your moisturizer, I think would be great. Um, it says to use it as the last step. So shake it up, watch your two phases mingle, press three drops into clean dry face and neck, use it AM and PM. If layering serums, apply it as the last step in your skincare regime. Um, but I have been using this and then a moisturizer on top just to seal everything in. But I think you could probably get away with just using this. Um, Again, I've used this about four or five times. Really, really enjoy it. Like I said, it's more than three drops, but once you put that on, it just spreads lovely, feels lovely, doesn't feel too greasy, but feels hydrating. Really, really nice. Did I tell you the price even? Um, this is 18 pounds, yes I did. Skin feels lovely, more watery, no perfume yet. This is a winner for me. The final product is this Dewpoint Moisturising Gel Cream. So this has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice in it. It also has squalane and hyaluronic acid in it. So there's some lovely hydrating ingredients in there. Um, this is £13.50 for this 60ml tube. So it's nice that it comes in a tube. Um, won't last that long though, that's the only thing. Um, no scent in this at all. And I love the formula of this. This is a gel cream which I really, really like gel creams, but the biggest problem for me with gel creams is they don't normally hydrate enough. Um, now, I haven't actually tried this on its own because more often than not, in fact, 99.9% .9 of the time, I am layering my skincare, so I'm normally putting some kind of serum on and then a night cream, I've been using this as a night cream, or I'll put an oil on or just something underneath. Um, and what I've been using with this is this, and these two together are absolutely lovely. And you, you don't even need this to be honest, but I just really like the feel of this. I feel like it sort of finishes off my skincare, seals everything in, you know, but I will try this on its own and see how hydrating it is. But I think if you've got dry skin or dehydrated skin, I don't know that this will be enough if you're just looking to use one product. Cause it does say there that this is for people that um, have breakouts, don't like really rich kind of, the normal type of moisturizers if you like and are looking for something really lightweight but like I said I don't know how hydrating that will be but using it with this it's been wonderful. That's everything that I bought from first but I'm so impressed with this because you guys know normally when I do a skincare review I'm showing you say I show you four things normally I like two of them I don't like two of them I'm super fussy with what I want from skincare and I like all four of these these are all four of these are winners and I'm really enjoying them so I've already added another three things to my basket they they do have quite a big range of skincare they've got three different eye creams well one of them is an eye mask they've got a lot of different serums um They've got some masks. There's a lot of things there to have a look at. Um, what I have ordered is there's something called the Restart Gentle Retinol Serum, which is really interesting because it's a mix of encapsulated retinol with Bacuchio. And I'm currently using um, a Bacuchio and retinol combination from Paula's Choice, but I can still feel that my skin is sensitive from the retinol. So it'd be interesting to see how I get on with that one. Um, the Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum, which is just another serum. And I've enjoyed this so much that I'd love to try that. Um, people will say that you know you should try and simplify your skincare regime as in try one thing for three months that kind of thing but I have to say I've never been 
I've never really done that other than when I wasn't on YouTube and you know use literally one cleanser and one moisturizer um, and my skin wasn't great then I think it's nice to give your skin a variety of things you know um, and that, that's not coming from a place of knowledge that's just how I've done things with my skin and I'm often getting compliments from you guys so certainly it's something that works for me um, as long as I'm not mixing the things that shouldn't be mixed you know not going crazy and doing like loads of acid and then putting a high strength retinol on or anything like that so I would like to try that Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum and I've also put in my basket the Fix Emergency Eye Mask. I know that it's probably just an eye cream but um, it appeals to me to put something on that you can leave on as a mask and see how much it sinks in, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's already all in my basket in Cult Beauty. Um, so I would love to know what you think if you've tried anything from the range. They've got pretty good reviews. There's a couple of items like there. There's a spot um, gel that has that got some bad reviews, but everything else seems to have pretty good reviews. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Let me tell you what I'm wearing makeup wise. I have got on the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Do you know, see this foundation? I don't know what's wrong with me. I cannot decide if I like it or not. And I am more than halfway through it. Like, what's wrong with me? Am I that unobservant that every time I use it, I forget to look and see that's why I thought well let me put it on today for a video and I can actually watch it back and go do I like it or not you know um it's one of those I just I don't think I've ever noticed anything majorly wrong with it but neither have I noticed that I put it on and go oh I love this you know um anyway that's the foundation on my eyes I have used a palette that I don't think exists anymore it's the Urban Decay Back Talk palette on my cheeks is a little elf putty blush it's the pink one but I tried to have a look on it and it doesn't have the name on it must have been on the box which is pretty pointless so I'll need to check on the website for which one it is and then on my lips is another sleek liquid lipstick in shabby chic I knew I'd remember it I was thinking I keep wanting to call it shag pile <laughs> but I know it's shabby chic it's a little bit like the um the Kat Von D one in Lovecraft and it's a little bit like the other sleek one that I've been wearing in birthday suit but this one is a little bit pinkier a little bit rosier that's the word rosier um so that's everything thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon